Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's snowing out here today. I'm freezing right here. Um, I was able to invite Mr. John to come over to help us answer more questions about relocating to Poland. Um, the last time he was here and we made a video, it was so nice that a lot of people contacted me and uh, currently we are processing the work permit of a couple of people already. So you might just be the next one, all right? So guys, this guy has experience and he's here to answer questions that you might have on your mind right now and that can help you to make the right decision so guys if you're new to my channel kindly hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you're excited about this video and also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop content welcome mr john it's good to see you again uh, good to see you too <laughs> uh, how is work man fine fine fine, fine. so as you're just fresh <laughs> <laughs> the snow is just good on you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, it's, it's actually not good though, come on, it's not, it's not nice for any person. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I wonder when you say it's nice for Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay, um, okay, let me ask you a couple of questions, okay, so we go, okay. just go straight to the point. Yeah, okay, so the first question I want to ask you is, do your employers offer relocation assistance? Uh -huh. Let's say for example now, someone reach out to us or yes. to me after this video. Okay and we start the work permit process, uh -huh. right? Yeah. So do the employers offer relocation, like to help them to come? Like, do they offer any documentation or something? Uh, uh, yes, actually, of course, this is something normal, you know. Uh, you get a job and you have to get your yeah, employment letters and, you know, contract and also some documents, uh, letter of invitation, you know, of course, work permits proper. You get a job, find the employer, we give you the documents, you know, Employment uh, document, which is a contract and mandate contract, and you know, uh, invitation letter to start the job, and also letter to uh, your embassy. Okay. Yeah, it's normal. Okay, so that. this document, like the work permit itself, is like also assistance, right? Yes, it is uh, something very mandatory. Uh, it's, it's something very mandatory. Yeah, for the, for your kind of uh, agency, because uh, uh, when, when someone applies for job online, someone can get a job and they don't do work permit for the person. They just give a job offer, but they are they wanted to do your work, own work permit. Uh -huh. One thing I know is uh, maybe online job. You you don't need to you know travel to work. You can work from your home. You know. Don't, it doesn't matter where you are. Uh -huh. You can work without this uh, work permit because uh -huh. work permit is a permission for you to work here in Poland. Yes. Or to work in any other country. I think every country has their own permission uh -huh. uh, to work. So it's a permission for you to work in this particular country, in this company. You understand? Okay. So once you, it has to do with appearance, you have to appear for you to do the job. Uh -huh. Of course, work permit is something... Essential. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you are offering assistance to relocate. Okay. All right. So the next question is, what is the success rate of your process? Actually, always successful. I've not got any negative uh, decision on, on the application anyway. Yeah, I've not got any negative decision. It's always positive. Okay. So in terms of on a scale of one to hundred, what can you rate? One two hundred is too poor for me. It should be one hundred and ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That means over successful is worrying it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, over successful. And uh, if uh, some people ask if uh, you are not successful in getting what they want you to do for them, is there any refund? Yes, actually. Yeah, actually, we do that. Actually, that's gonna uh, lead us to the next question. Okay. No, no so, is there any refund, uh, like in the case? Uh, anything happens let's say for example you're not able to get the work permit or something is there any refund yeah i think this was exactly what i was about to say yeah <laughs> yes, okay. always. Uh, if there is any expenses you made uh, during this process of 10 years is actually refundable 100 percent because it, because this is normal in life when you pay for something or when you get somebody to give you this thing and this person couldn't you know provide that you pay for a service and the service was not rendered obviously my money back Okay, so, okay, okay. Although uh, maybe in, such, in some certain occasions when it is being stated, you know, on time, that this, what you're inventoring into is non-refundable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's, and that's, you know. That's the only case in which yeah, it's not refundable. Case, yeah. But in this case, it is refundable, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Now, next question is, um, what is the validity of the work permit that you're providing? Uh, the validity of... It depends, it depends, I think the 
minimum I've ever you know done is two years. Okay, <laughs> okay, is. okay. So uh, you can provide work permit for two years and three years, right? Yeah. And in the last video, we talked about the fact that uh, in, in this winter now, now in winter, uh, Poland are offering three years. Yeah. Three years. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So we've gotten the answer to that question. So next question is: Is this work permit tied to the job that you're providing? And also, can somebody switch or reapply to another job when they come to Poland? Yes. Uh, I think uh, many people have asked me this question. Not only you. A lot of people ask me put this question to me and I always tell them that uh, there is nothing you know tied on you or on your neck that you must you know do this you know if you get something better than that then you can't do you can't change you know this is life you must not die in what particular job you know, the job I'm doing today may not be the job I'm gonna do tomorrow if you get something better than what I'm doing today I have this privilege and opportunity to change Okay. Compulsory that you must. Okay, so that means that when they come into Poland, right, through this work permit, yeah. and they don't like the job that you uh, you've um, you've offered them, they are free to change, right, without any problem, right? Yes, but what I don't understand is why somebody will not like the job because uh, this job you have seen this job on internet or maybe you've heard about it or maybe you've asked and uh, you know the job description has been given to you and you saw that you like this job and you come and you don't like it anymore somehow questionable but even with that they can still change right yes but even with that you know you're free to okay you know you, you know actually someone them. someone reached out to me one of the person was saying that uh uh she was scared or he was scared yeah. that it's going to be that kind of slavery that that person was thinking that it's going to be that kind of slavery stuff yeah. that that person you're you're just bound to that job to that contract yeah. As long as that contract is valid and uh and uh you know someone was even saying that is it that kind of one that uh, when you when you come into the place they'll they'll collect your passport i was like you know i was like where did this person get this information from i think uh you might mention slavery yeah for me i think that's a, it's a, it's a sort of a different slavery in a type <laughs> modern uh, slavery yeah modern something modern slavery or something like that but i've heard about that i have heard about that in some countries where you go to work and they take your passports passports and you know documents just to make sure you don't travel out to any other place you don't get any other job except that one they offered to you it's so, sort of modern slavery anyway but this is not acceptable it is uh, against the human rights because you have every right to shoot job you know if you get tired of this present one and you get something better than that one you've, you've got the right to change okay 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 that's that's great okay um next question is can you get a permanent residency after uh you secure your job for them like when they come into poland can you help them to get a permanent residency this, this question is uh, a little bit funny because i don't know what someone outside there you know you're not yet in poland and you're talking about permanent residence i don't know i, I will be asking this person what, what are you interested in are you interested to come and work or are you interested to get permanent residence i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, regardless of what the motive is, the most important but, is that everybody is happy and they are living their dreams. You know? uh, anyway, you know, normal here in Poland, I think uh, when you are here up to five years, you have the right to start applying for a permanent residence. Yeah. Uh, especially workers, I know workers, if you work uh, three years, four years, get into five years, you start applying for a permanent residence uh, here. So if we assist in making application for a temporary residence after some months you have worked with us we start processing your temporary resident card mm -hmm. and when it's also time for us to process that permanent resident card for you when we see that you are due for that process and okay. when you also have seen that you yourself the employer you know the, the worker the okay. employee okay. are due for that okay so you, you are uh, no. okay so you're saying that if they come in into Poland through this work permit, yeah. uh, you're gonna help them to process their work permit. I think I heard you saying work permit now. No, yeah, I mean you've gotten work permit for them and yeah. they came into Poland. Now um, they need residency, right? Yeah. In order to prolong their visa. So now yeah. you said you're going to you're, you're, the agency is going to help them to do it, right? Yes. So the agency we gonna help you providing your temporary resident permit, sorry, temporary card or permits as you call it. 
uh, you do that and when it is due for your permanent residence we also make the application for you okay okay that's what i want to know and uh yeah i, I believe that this will help a lot of people you know to at least to know more about polish immigration Don't and how to fast. stay in poland Don't too fast. <laughs> yeah yeah <And> your visa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, people poland. just want to see like the bigger picture you know before venturing to things uh, big dream. Well, yeah the bigger picture luck. you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um the next question which is going to be like the last question okay yeah. so um what is the average salary someone can get in poland right now this is the average salary so and it increases uh, depending on the law the law changes you know, every time and uh, i think the salary ranges also changes sometimes there was a time it was uh, 17 slotty per hour average and uh, the time it was 18 slotty and uh, it keeps increasing and, uh, and it also depends on uh, I think age because some people don't understand that there is age limit when you start paying taxes in Poland okay people don't know about that okay so it's a bit complicated uh, if we start asking answering this question here I think we will not go <laughs> okay okay guys <laughs> i think maybe one day we'll make a video to, to talk more just little about it because we can't answer everything on the same day according to you <laughs> okay so really nice uh you've really answered uh questions and this will uh, go a long way to help a lot of people you know to open people's eyes about uh, poland immigration and living in poland all right it would be so nice to have you again you know so that you can help us answer more questions and talk more about uh relocating to poland and living in poland all right Thank you so much for coming. Thank you <laughs> for having me here. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, so you've heard the answers that Mr. John gave to these questions. Um, if you have other questions that you would like us to answer, please feel free to put in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you've gained something, please don't fail to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and click the like button on this video so that it, it will get recommended to a lot of people more. All right. And also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we drop or whenever I drop content, alright? Thank you so much for watching.